So you want to learn how to make money online or on the side, but you're not sure which is the best way to go. You have heard different terms such as direct sales, MLM, network marketing, and affiliate marketing, but you're not sure which way to go. Hey, my name is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. In this video, I'm actually going to share with you the difference between network marketing and affiliate marketing. We're going to actually dive into the pros and kind of both of them and so that you can make a better decision in terms of which business should you get into. I want to let you know that I have done both network marketing business and affiliate marketing business and I've been doing pretty well with both of those to actually support myself and two of my kids through these past four years and as a single mom. Before I'm going to all of the pros and cons of network marketing and affiliate marketing, I think it's very important for me to actually get into and talk about what is network marketing and what is affiliate marketing. So let's get started. Affiliate marketing is basically you refer customers to buy somebody else's product and you get percentage of a commission from the sale. That's it. That's just affiliate marketing. Now in a network marketing, you still refer people to buy the product. You're still doing the sales, but on top of that, you're recruiting other people to do the same thing as you're doing. So in the network marketing industry, you're, you're referring people to, you know, you're making the sales, but you're also building the team. Now, you probably have heard the term of MLM and direct sales, and you'll wonder what is the difference between MLM and direct sales and network marketing. It's actually they're pretty much the same. Direct sales is also a network marketing business as well. Direct sales, most of the people in direct sales, they're more into just selling. They're not so much of building a team, but they still could build a team. All right, so that's the difference between affiliate marketing and network marketing. Now, let's dive into the post. I want to talk to you a little bit on both sides of affiliate marketing and the network marketing, the pro of each field. All right, let's start with network marketing or most also people refer to as MLM. Now, one of the pro of um, being in the MLM is that it actually eases people into the entrepreneur mindset. I know personally, for me, to think about doing a business, it used to scare me because I have no idea where to start. But getting into a network marketing industry, it helps me to ease me into the entrepreneur mindset. And I've learned so much through network marketing industry. And you know, I could truly say I am a totally different person uh, today than I used to be before I was in the network marketing industry. I understand the business. I understand how to run a business as the model of the business already. Another pro of a network marketing industry or the MLM is that there's really no tech skill required. So if you're one of those people that scared of uh, tech skill, you don't really need to know any. In fact, you could actually build a network marketing business totally offline if you want to. And even if you want to do, build it online, there's very minimum of uh, online uh, technical skill it's required. Basically, it requires you to be able to send a message on Facebook or Instagram to people and talk about your business. And that's it. If you are people, people, because network marketing industry is really a relationship business. If you're a people person, right? You like to talk to people. Network marketing industry is definitely for you. If you like to talk to strangers, you like, you know, you just like to talk to people. Network marketing industry, definitely for you. If somebody who just want to make a casual income, right? Or they just want to make a side income, like people who work full time, they just want to make something on the side. Or a stay at home mom, they just enjoy to make some side cash where they could host a party here and there, or they could, you know, have a vendor show on the Saturday. Nothing really committed, right? You could actually do that with network marketing in the industry as a side income, as a casual income. Now, if you really want to build this and you want to build this long term and you really put work in it, you could actually potentially make a lot of money in network marketing industry. I do know a lot of people who is a stay at home mom that started it as a casual income and really building to a six, six, six or seven figure income. Another pro about network marketing industry is that you could actually leverage the team. Remember we talked about network marketing, not only you're doing the selling, but you're also recruiting people, um, recruiting people to do the same thing that you do. So you are actually building a team, you could actually eventually uh, build a large organization 
uh, over the time. Now with the network marketing industry, you put in the work today to, you put in the work today and, and in the long run, there's a huge, huge income potential, um, huge, huge income potential because you could leverage people that you recruit. You are not only making uh, the commission based off your personal sale, but you're also making a commission of uh, people who you recruited into your team. So if you, in the long run, right, you have to put in the work right now to recruit a lot of people and building up a big organization. And in the long run, you will be able to actually potentially make income uh, um, based on the people you recruited uh, across the country or across the world. Now, this one also is a, a pro in network marketing industry. However, don't count on it. You know, if you in the network marketing industry long enough, you will hear this term that, you know, being placed in the right place or being placed in the right spot. Now, this is something that, you know, one, it happened once in the blue moon, you know, so don't count on it. It's, so, it's like winning the lottery. So the potential is that you could actually potential being with the, the good sponsor and they place you in the right place and then you, you're recruiting the right person who's actually hustling and you really don't have to do anything because of the person that you uh, you bring it in, they are the one that are making all of the sales and you are actually making the income based off their effort. But again, this is like winning the lottery, so don't count on it, okay? <laughs> So that's the pro of network marketing. Let's go into the affiliate marketing. So an affiliate marketing, there's a huge income potential fast. If the, if the person who treated this as a business, you could actually potentially make money faster than a network marketing industry. Affiliate marketing is basically you refer people to buy other people's products. So you have in the, in the middle person. Now there's a huge potential income because each sell that you personally make, you will make potentially anywhere between 30 to 50% off the commission. Compared to network marketing industry, you make anywhere between three to 6% commission per sales that you make. You will hear the term in the affiliate marketing that you will hear the term that they get paid now. Now for those who are, those people who are actually wanting to, you want to make money now instead of make money later as, a, as in, in a network marketing industry, affiliate marketing industry definitely is something that you want to take a hard look at it to, to, to make money. A lot of people get into affiliate marketing business because they want to make money now so that they could get out their job so that they could, you know, retire and all of that. So affiliate marketing definitely support that because you make money now versus in network marketing industry, you build right now and you make money in the long run. If you're a person who a hard worker, you're a hustler, you, you like to work hard, you know you're the person that you work hard, you don't like to depend on other people, and affiliate marketing industry is definitely for you because in the affiliate marketing industry, you don't build a team. You put in the effort, you make the money, you do not rely on your downline to make the sales, right? So if you know that you're that person that really hustle to make that money, you definitely want to take a look at in the affiliate marketing industry because a lot of time in the network marketing industry you probably have heard that people you know you spend so much time into you know you recruit a person and you spend time to teach them to do exactly what you do and then down the line the people either they don't produce or they quit so you basically waste your time and energy on those people but if you're a hustler and you like to work based on your work and affiliate marketing business definitely it's for you now the, the next pro is actually a big deal to me in the network marketing industry, typically we all start with our friends and family. I remember when I first started now, as an immigrant, I don't have a lot of friends in this country. So I have few family. So when I started network marketing industry, of course, when you start network marketing industry, your upline, they all tell you to start with your friends and family first. And that's exactly what I did. And I brought, I burned a lot of bridges. I like a family. I got a friend that actually called me out that, you know, and, and blocked me on Facebook. And that happens a lot, right? 
um, you actually would damage a lot of potential, a lot of relationship because of network marketing industry. Now, in affiliate marketing industry, it has nothing to do with your friends and family. In fact, your friends and family does not need to know anything that you do in affiliate marketing, or they probably don't even care what you do, and you really don't need to talk to them about it. That's the difference between the network marketing industry and affiliate marketing industry. And it's a big deal to me because I don't have a lot of warm market and I burn a lot of bridges in the network marketing industry. So the affiliate marketing industry, you could actually maintain a good relationship with your friends and family without you know, harass them to buy your product. Another pro in the affiliate marketing industry is that uh, most of the time you could actually find an affiliate marketing company that actually do most of the work for you. All you need to do is to, to learn one skill and one skill only, which is generating leads driving the traffic you basically just looking for learn how to generate leads and so that they could opt in um, into whatever product that you're offering you basically just drive traffic to the product that the other person is selling and that's the only skill that you need to learn we're going to talk about what type of skill do you need to learn in the network marketing industry but for affiliate marketing industry if you want to be successful the only thing that you need to learn is how to drive traffic and how to generate leads all right so it's pretty easy with an affiliate marketing industry with an affiliate marketing industry you could actually automate uh, your sales now you can't do that with a network marketing industry because a network marketing industry it is a people business right it is a relationship business so you have to actually talk to people you actually have to build a relationship but in the affiliate marketing industry you could actually automate most of yourselves using the tool that the company give you the, the, the stuff that they actually put in front of you all you need to do is drive traffic so you could actually potentially automate a lot of sales in the digital world you know when people are looking for a training they could actually see they, when you drive the traffic to them they could actually make the sales right especially these days a lot of people are looking for di digital product and all you and, and your job is only generate leads and if they opt in and when, with the link that you place somewhere, you will actually make a sale in an, auto, uh, in an automation manner without even doing a three-way call or hosting a party. So an affiliate marketing industry does support a great lifestyle, especially for a single mom like me or parents or someone who works full-time to try to do a side, a side business. It actually supports a lifestyle, a, a, a little more like um, life uh, freedom lifestyle because you could actually automate some of the sales process. You don't have to do the partying, the three-way call and all of that like network marketing industry does. You could actually have what we call unplug lifestyle you could actually do like two three hours of work and then you unplug and go into the lake and go fishing go hiking without doing anything and you still able to make money another pro about um affiliate marketing industry is that you could actually scale up you could actually scale up quickly with uh, uh, pay advertising in affiliate marketing industry now you could actually potential once you learn driving the traffic once you learn what we call the conversion rate you learn all of those then you were actually able to to to, to run an ad you could put in a dollar and you make two dollar bag with the ad you put in a hundred dollar you make two hundred dollar you put in a thousand dollar you make two thousand dollar you could quickly scale those right away another pro is that you could actually learn a lot of different skills inside the affiliate marketing industry you will be able to learn how to market properly you will also eventually learn how to create your own product now if it's it's not something that you you want to do right right away but it definitely it's a potential if you learn how to create your own digital product and that is actually an automated sales machine for you so with affiliate marketing industry you were actually able to learn all of them in affiliate marketing industry there's really not so, not as much restriction as a network marketing industry now when you don't make much money you only make inside money here and there you don't make enough then in the in your income 
um, or you're not one of the big leader in the company, it really doesn't affect you. The company really doesn't doesn't care, right? They don't they don't think you're significant enough to care. But when you become, once you start building a big organization and you're making good money and you're on the, on the top of pay rate, so now the company is actually gonna put restriction on you because now you're representing the company. So the company would not allow you to actually go and promote another uh, another company, another um, network market marketing company. An affiliate marketing company, it is your business. It doesn't matter how much money you make, it's your business. You could promote as many products as you want. You could represent as many affiliate marketing companies as you want, which is really good because you will be able to get different types of products so that you could actually share with your leads that you have been generated to different types of audience uh, in terms of what type of product they're looking for and really add on to that multiple streams of income. But in the network marketing industry, you are not allowed to actually represent more than one network marketing industry when you're making big money. All right, now that you hear all of this positive, all of this pro of network marketing and affiliate marketing, I am sorry, but I have to do this because I want you to make the best decision. I'm gonna go down the list of the cons of each industry, the network marketing and affiliate marketing. So let's get down to the network marketing industry. Now, a network marketing industry, like we mentioned before, it is a people's, you know, you, it requires people skill. There's a lot of people, you know, because of uh, personality, because the character, people skill, and you need to have posture to close the cell. So not everybody had the people skill skill or not, not, not everybody will be able to develop that posture to close the cell is something that's very challenging to people to a lot of people when it comes to promoting network marketing industry uh, with the people skill and in the, in the, in the posture it is very challenging for a lot of people um, to to have that posture to close the cells that's I think one of the con that we have is really depend on the personality type that you have so a lot, a lot of introvert is something that they really it's really hard for them to over Overcome. You know, there's different skill that you need to learn before you could actually really be successful and promote the, the the product. Where in the affiliate marketing industry, we mentioned all you need to do one skill only, and one skill only is to generate lead and drive traffic to the product, right? But in the network marketing industry, if you want to be successful of building your network marketing industry, there are different skills that you need to learn. You gotta build up this. You gotta learn the skill of continuously building new relationship, new uh, network. You need to learn uh, the skill of finding a new network looking for new people every single day to talk to about your business, your opportunity. Another skill that requires you to be successful in this industry is that you need to learn how to actually say more than just hello to, to people. You need to learn how to build a report, to build a relationship. Another skill that you definitely need to learn how to do is the prospecting. You need to learn how, uh, how to find out if this is a, this person is a good fit for the business. How do I prospect? How do I find out if this product is good for this person, this opportunity? is good this person you need to learn the prospecting skill and that's something that's not everybody could get it right away and but you have to if you don't know how to prospect you're not gonna be able to you make the money right the next skill that you want to learn is that once you prospect people you need to learn how to properly present your opportunity your product and your services to people so that you could actually make the sales once you learn how to prospect, you learn how to properly present your opportunity, now you have to learn the skill of follow up. You know, a lot of time people do not just go for the first time. They will not say yes to you the first time you present your product and your opportunity to them. So you need to learn the follow up skill. How do you follow up with people so that they could actually make the sale? You also need to learn the skill of closing sales. How do you close a cell? That's a big deal. And this is where the pastor come in. You gotta learn how to close a cell or you're not gonna make any money. So those are the skills that you need to learn in the network marketing industry before you could actually make some money. So in a network marketing industry, there's a potential of damaging relationship. I have heard so many people that their friends and family unfriend them on Facebook or that you, you can stop inviting to different events because you cannot shut up talking about your product, your business, because your antennas are always up to try to recruit people and your friends and family get tired of hearing it. In fact, 
I have done my share of, you know, doing this. And I actually have friends uh, unfriend me on Facebook because I was doing it wrong. I did not know all of those skills that we just mentioned. And because I keep badging them, it damages the relationship. So that's definitely a big con in my book in the network marketing industry. Once you learn all of the skills that we talk about to build a successful business, and now you're able to recruit people into your organization, now you have to actually teach those people to do exactly what you have done to make it to recruit and make the sales so you have to invest time and and energy to coach the, all of those people that you have recruiting in there you it's you have to give them ongoing support and you have to be present with them you you cannot just turn you know it's not like an affiliate marketing industry that you actually will work for two three hours and you turn your phone off and you could go on with your day but in a network marketing industry you have to provide ongoing training coaching and support to your organization and a lot of time you probably have heard you would invest so much time and energy into them and then they either they don't produce or they quit and a lot of time it end up to be wasted of time and energy and that's one of the con in the network marketing industry there's a certain stigmatism there's certain emotion into network marketing industry because there's a lot of people they really don't know what network marketing industry is but they have heard this pamer scam and uh, scam all of those but they really don't know if but a lot of people really did not invest the time to actually learn that network marketing industry actually work but because of these um, negative six statements and emotion get into uh, people's head so that a lot of people actually very resistant from buying from a network marketing industry or a, a join a network marketing industry so that could be a really challenging area to build a network marketing uh, business as well so in network marketing industry there's a lot of people that I've seen that they put in a lot of time and effort they work really hard but they never really make the money they, you know, remember we talk about network marketing industry is that you work hard now so that you could have a long term in the future, you will have a potential income from the organization that you build. But remember, this is an ongoing, ever changing world. You will run into your sponsor changing company. The company shut down and all of that. So a lot of time, uh, a lot of people, they put in a lot of effort and a lot of energy into the network marketing industry, hoping that in the long run, they will be a, with a massive, massive team and they will be able to have a six, seven figure income. But there's really no guarantee in it. So a lot of people put in a lot of work in that, but they never make any money with uh, network marketing industry. And with, with, with a network marketing industry, on average, it takes about seven, five to seven years. That's what they say, five to seven years to actually see a significant uh, income potential in the industry. But remember, there's no guarantee. Your team will job, your sponsor will leave, your company could, uh, could close down. Now the last one, the last con in the in in a network marketing industry is that a network marketing industry is really a very hands-on industry. It's not like uh, an affiliate marketing industry. You work two, three hours, you could close the laptop and you don't have to look at it again. You cannot automate the sales. It's a very hands-on. There's a lot of time in a network marketing industry, you know, you have to give you, you know, you build a massive team, you know, your team could actually stop building the business, but you have to be there as an ongoing support. You gotta do the training. And sometimes you do, you have to do a uh, hotel party or a, a hosting party at home you have to do the presentation and sometimes you have to do three-way call there are a lot of top leader if you talk to them a lot of top leader they will tell you the first five to seven years of their journey they spend a lot of time missing families event or walking out of family dinner because they have to be on that three-way call or they have to be going to the house party or the hotel party or get on a zoom to coaching people so it's a very ongoing hands-on business in the network marketing industry the, at least the first five to seven years when you're building your team because you need to be there to support them to coach them to help them grow 
All right, let's talk about the con in the affiliate marketing industry. Now, in the affiliate marketing industry, the number one con is that you definitely need to learn how to market. You definitely need to learn some of the computer skills. So if you're not a techie person and you want to build a, a, a affiliate marketing industry, bear in mind that you are required to be comfortable around computer. Right now in the network marketing industry, you don't need to, you don't actually really need to learn the marketing skill. You could actually do what we just talked about, all of those skills that you we just talked about and do it offline. But if you're gonna be into the affiliate marketing industry, you're gonna have to learn how to generate leads. You're gonna have to learn the marketing skill. You're gonna have to learn uh, the term of a funnel and all of that. So that that is, you know, for those people who are scared of technology, that is a, a con that you have to overcome if you decide to go into an affiliate marketing industry. Now, with that being said, you do not need to be a computer genius in order to build an affiliate marketing business. You, you know, there are people that I know, they know just enough. They are actually, they don't know everything, right? They know just the basic of the computer to make them through. They learn the marketing skill and they, they learn just the basic of the computer skill to get them through. And they actually able to make good money in the affiliate marketing industry. In the affiliate marketing industry, you cannot treat an affiliate marketing uh, business as a casual income. If you treat you, if you don't treat your affiliate marketing business as a business, you will not make money. That is for sure. You have to put in the work. Again, affiliate marketing industry, you make the sales, you make the commission. There is no leveraging on team. So you have to put in the work. So if you are not one of those people that willing to put in the work, you are not one of those people that, you know what, you want to hustle on your own. Affiliate marketing industry, definitely not for you. You have, if you get into affiliate marketing industry, you definitely want to treat it as a business and run it as a business so that you could actually see the income today instead of in the future. In the future, once you learn all of this skill, once you learn how to drive the traffic, you treat this business as a business, you could automate yourself. Now the next one, you know, a lot of people see that one as a con. Um, I actually see it as a pro, but I'm gonna put it in here for you to, so that you could decide. Now, the, in affiliate marketing business, you could definitely scale up your business quickly by using pay advertisement. Now, a lot of people feel that as a con because they don't like, it's kind of scary to, to spend money on ad, but to me, it's a pro because I could actually put in some money, I could put in $100 into advertising and get $200 back and $300, you know, I could put in a thousand dollar in, I could get two thousand dollar back. Some people are scared of running advertising, and this I put it in the con so that you can make your decision. Now, do you have to run an ad to grow your affiliate marketing business? You don't necessarily have to run an ad, but if you want to scale up quickly, running an ad is actually the best way to do it. Now, depends on your goal, depends on where you are. You know, I want to share all of this for you so that you can make your best decision. If you are, you know, if you are into network marketing industry, I am sure if you raise your hand, say that you're looking for a network marketing business, there's a lot of friends and family out there. There's a lot of your friends out there who are actually welcome you and actually send you tons of uh, opportunity for you to look at. Now, if you want to find out the best way to do uh, to do affiliate marketing business and you're not sure what to look for, I actually have a video in the comment below, the top link below. I actually shoot a video for you to find out how to get started with an affiliate marketing industry and what to look for. If you want my recommendation on affiliate marketing industry, on the, uh, the second link in this video, in, in the description of this video, I actually share with you my number one affiliate marketing business. Now I have seen a lot of people who have not done well in network marketing industry and they transition to affiliate marketing industry and they do very well in affiliate marketing industry. Now I also have seen people who done very, very well in network marketing industry and they add on affiliate marketing industry, which are like me, and on affiliate marketing industry and they do very well in both network marketing industry and affiliate marketing industry because you learn how to market. So with that being said, doesn't matter which field you wanna go into, which industry you wanna go into, definitely take a hard look at both industry and decide which one is best fit for you and your family. 
So with that being said, guys, if you find this video as useful, be sure to give me a like, be sure to share this video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, this is Candace from Create Freedom with Candace.com. I'll see you next time.